Hey everyone. So in this video, I wanted to share my new work bag that I have not opened yet. And I was looking for a new bag mainly because I wanted to have something that could hold my laptop securely. And I just have been outgrowing my other one. It gets really disorganized very quickly. So I've decided to pick something up and I got this from Amazon. It's also a green color. I wanted, I don't know why, but I had a spur of the moment desire to get a colored bag. Something that, you know, wasn't just black, um, which I do love a good black tote, but I wanted to think outside the box a little bit. So, let's go ahead and open this together. I'll link the bag below in the description box. Um, it is from Amazon, but if you want to find something similar, I'm sure there's something out there. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. You'll be seeing me unpack it for the very first time, so I'm a little nervous about, like, what it's gonna look like, so let's react to it together. Okay, this is what looks like. It actually came with a little scarf, which I thought was super cute. Um, I might just keep it on there because it looks fancy, so why not? So it looks like it has a zipper, so, so we now have the bag open. Able to get the plastic cover off. Like there is a oh there is some instructions or not instructions because it's a bag. So now we have some tissue paper. So this is the bag. It's pretty wide and like I feel like this is a pretty sizable tote. Let's expand it though to see. I removed the tissue. So this is the bag. We have the little scarf. It's so cute that they like already attached it. <laughs> like that's so cute. It's really soft too. the handles. Let's see the bag. Look at that. These are really big handles. I like that because I do like to put it on my shoulder most often. Uh, it does come with a longer strap, I think. So I'm going to remove these crinkles. It was a little tricky. Um, so I have the bag. This is what it looks like. Long handles. So it goes over like that, which I like. And I'm a pr I'm like five three, so like really big bags can be a little overwhelming, so this is not too bad. So, this is the scarf, and inside there is a long strap for longer 
shoulder wear. So, I'm just gonna unravel that and check out the length here. I'd probably wear it more on my shoulders um, with the regular handbag straps. So I like that they're very long already since that's the most comfortable wear for me, but it's nice to have a longer strap just in case I want to wear it with this strap. And it looks like you can extend it. here you have the, I believe that's for, for the laptop. There's like a little image of the laptop. It's interesting. Um, and it does feel like there's padding. And then you have a big side over here and then another side over here. And then this, I think, is a zipper pocket as well. already. I love that. This is definitely like the main pocket here next to the laptop and then you have like a slimmer pocket. And then we have, oh this is nice. I don't know what this is. What is this? I might have to look this up again. It looks like it might be like for your keys, which if it is, honestly, love it because my keys are always like at the bottom of my bag and even though I have so many keys on them. So hooking them on this would be really neat. I have like a easy clip that I can use to clip them on and off. So I don't know if this is what that's for, but I will, I'm assuming it is. So, we have a interior pocket here. It's pretty, it's pretty sizable, not too big though. Then you have a little slip pocket here. Then you have two tiny ones, which could fit like a lipstick probably or a pen. But that's about it. And then another slip pocket here. So, that is this interior side, the middle pocket, and then on this side was the laptop. So I'm actually going to test the laptop because I want to know if that fits the laptop that I have size-wise. So, go ahead and see if that fits. It's also very smooth leather. It feels really nice. Very comfortable. Okay, so the laptop sleeve is there. It's like this big velcro thing. And that's where it should go. So, I have the laptop. Perfectly. This is a MacBook Air. I think it's like a 13 inch. So I guess depending on how big your laptop is, I don't think it would fit too big of a laptop. We have the laptop in there and there is this like smaller sleeve in between. Maybe that could be for like an iPad. Um, 
or something flat. But I have it all tucked in there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yay! I can't wait because I've been bringing my personal laptop with me more frequently and it's just like I'm carrying two tote bags at this point with one dedicated for my laptop and all my wires for that and then I might my purse, so I am excited to consolidate everything personally. Um, we'll see how heavy it gets, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of the bag with things already in my other work bag. Um, I really want to reorganize everything more in like specific pouches and just be a little bit more organized, but I'm just going to move what I have over and then, you know, in the future, if I do an organization video for how I organize my bag or packing my bag with me, I'll go ahead and film that, but yeah, I've been obsessed with like the, um, pack my bag aesthetic on TikTok, just all the cute bags and like the way you can organize them. Just, I love it. I'm obsessed with those videos. They're, they're like their own ASMR niche and I love it. So, okay. So, that's my bag. I'm going to set this side here. It still needs to like bend into shape. So this is my current bag. It's a lot more floppy, not as tall. It's just like a empty, it's just like a big mess in there. So I'm excited to um, move along to a different bag. Um, so I have a right now, so we need to fix that, but I'm just going to leave it for now. So, I usually leave this at work, but sometimes I'll bring it with me if I work from home on a day or something like that, and um, it's basically like a laptop um, stand, but it's compact compactable, collapsible. <laughs> Um, and so you can, you know, pack it on the go. So, um, it's obviously great for that. Not the most cute aesthetic, but it does the job. So, gotta pack that. I have this other pouch, which has, like, more toiletries and stuff in it. anymore. I want to break things up a little bit. So I might experiment and see, but for now, keep that. Okay. Then I have some other random stuff in here and my like battery back, like a stray chopstick. <laughs> so. All right. So I think I'm going to most often for a couple of items. I'm going to put them in the slip pocket here. So, for example, tissue. Stick it there in that pocket. I have a chapstick, which is pretty short. I don't know if I want to put it in the long pocket, so I'm just going to put it next to the tissue. There. Then I have a pen. Also, my wallet and a couple of other things are in a different purse right now because it's the weekend and I'm not, 
you know, using my work bag, but I moved stuff to another bag, so obviously my wallet and my keys would go in here as well, but yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna stick the um, extra charging battery in the slip pocket in front of the laptop. Just kind of keeping my electronics over there. I do want an electronics organizer. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to take the stand and also place it in the middle here. Just to keep that in there. I might move it around. We'll see. send him the stitch crying gif sometimes like you know in a funny way uh, when I'm complaining or being sassy and he got this for me at, in remembrance of that gif that is of the crying stitch <laughs> if you know what I mean this with me. It's just like a very cute memento. I might take it out of the packaging, but it, I don't want it to get ruined. I might take it out and then maybe I'll attach it to the little keychain here along with my keys. I don't know. I just want to preserve it because it was such a sweet gift and I want to preserve it. <laughs> so I think for now I'll just stick it here. Everything is subject to move. I do realize that there is a pocket back here, but I'm not sure what I would put in here since it's so tight. So maybe just something like important that I didn't need. I don't know. So I pretty much emptied this bag out and just individually put things in. And then I have my planner. It's like a bullet journal. And, you know, it's got like, like days of the 
week type of thing. So that's how I do that. And I'm going to just stick that um, in the pocket next to my laptop. I think that's almost everything I'm going to need to put in a couple more things slash organize it a bit better. Like this toiletry bag is bursting at the seams and it's so just like doesn't make any sense. So I need to fix that a little bit. because then you can zip everything together. So let's do that. Wow. That was beautiful. Everything is in there. It holds so much. It's definitely heavy. So um, I think that's just something to be aware of. Other than the laptop stand that I have, which is pretty, I would say, bulky, I think the bulk of weight is coming from the laptop. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I think I'll just have to get a little used to it, but it, it beats having to wear like two bags. <laughs> um, I guess unless you have big shoulder problems, this might not be great, but... I mean, they wrapped the bow for me. I mean, already I love it. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna keep it. So, I'm just gonna snip away the little card. So, that is my bag. She's looking so cute, so adorable, and I'm excited to take this with me and see how it goes. As you can see, it's like a nice deep forest green, which is definitely not something I have, and like this is very much more sophisticated and I obviously look like um, I'm a corporate kind of gal <laughs> with this kind of bag. I do find these types of bags can be hard to be, I don't know, fit my style or fit most different styles. But I get that it has to be a certain structure for laptops and such, but I do feel like some of the designs are a little, eh, they're a little not my style. The affordable ones. Obviously, the more expensive ones out there have better looking aesthetics, but I didn't want to pay a ton of money, so I am really happy so far with my purchase. wait to take it out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this bag unboxing, unpacking, mini um, first impression video. And, um, like I said, I'll link it below. We'll see how long it lasts, so I don't know that I can fully endorse it right now, but if you want it to check it out. Feel free. So. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See you.